H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Okay. Now, uh, if I ask you a question like, what is .NET Framework? So, .NET Framework is nothing but, um, um, anyone wants to answer? What is .NET Framework now that we are done with the complete course? Almost, almost most of the topics. What do you think is uh, .NET Framework? .NET Framework, uh, anyone wants to go ahead? Okay. So uh, .NET Framework is a Windows technology which is used for which is used for developing uh, applications targeting primarily for Windows, and uh, even you can use uh, some of the applications developed for um, uh, for other other platforms as well. So if you see, if someone asks you uh, the question like, "Is .NET Framework platform independent?" So what is your answer? So imagine if I ask you a question, I have written a console application and uh, I created an exe file. All of you know that when I compile a console application, it will create an exe file. So if I ask you, will that work in Mac system or so what is your answer? Please uh, let me let me repeat the question again. So I have created a console application and uh, when I compile that, that will create an exe file. Now. If I ask you a question that will that exe file will work in the Mac system? So let me let me uh, I, let me put this way. So I'm I'm going to create a simple console application, Windows Year 2013. And uh, recently I asked this question uh, when when I went for conducting interviews. So let me see. So new I'm going to create new console application new project you already know that when you when you compile a console application it will create an exe file so i'm going to create an app console application console application and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to write here uh, i'm going to write here uh, console in two numbers adding two numbers let's take adding two numbers so int a comma b and then a is equal to uh, console dot write line enter first number okay and then what I'm going to write a is equal to con uh, convert dot to int and then I'm going to write console dot read line okay and then now similarly I'm going to read the second number so I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to put here B so B is equal to console dot read line enter enter second number now uh, now if I write like this so console dot write line sum of I can write like this 0 and 1 is 2 so what I can write here I can write a comma b comma a plus b and then what I'll write at the end I'll write console dot read line so now uh, when I build this program so for example when I run this program I'll see I'll see the output here so every time you will not run the program so here I'll enter 5 I'll enter 6 I'll see the output as 11 sum of 5 and 6 is 11 now if I right click on this program.cs file and if I go to open containing folder and I will see something called bin inside that I'll see debug and then I have something called console application 88 so what I can do is I can copy this right click on this I can copy this and I can go to uh, I can go to my computer and somewhere in D drive I can put I can create a new folder and uh, and I'm going to put as app apps and paste that exe now if I rename this to add numbers 
so now I'm using a Windows system so if I rename this to add numbers and mail to my friends or mail to you guys what you can do is you can double click on this and you can enter the first number 5 you can enter second number 10 whatever you whatever numbers and you can see this you can use the application so now my question is can I use this application in Mac system or can I use this application in Linux system so if that works there then we can call it as uh, .NET Framework is platform independent so so uh, how many of you say that it will work there and uh, how many of you say that it will only work in Windows so most of the responses I'm seeing here like uh, it will not work in Mac or Linux so uh, yes it will not work in Mac or Linux but you can make it work in other platforms as well provided if you install .NET Framework there even if you run this in your old systems take for example if you run this uh, Windows what is the what is the oldest operating system Windows operating system which you are aware of please focus on the class because this is very important and uh, this is these are the questions which normally will be asked in interviews okay so what is the oldest Windows operating system I got Windows NT I got Windows 95 so if I give you a Windows 95 system and if I ask you to run this exe file it will not work there so if you want this exe file to be executed you should have .NET Framework, dot .NET Framework installed and the .NET Framework is not there in Windows 95 so whenever you buy a system and with Windows 7 Windows 7 operating system you will get .NET Framework for free so that is the reason why all these exe files which are developed using Visual Studio will work in your operating system okay even uh, if you s if even if you take uh, Windows XP which was there till last year Microsoft was supporting Windows XP but now Microsoft stopped supporting from the last year December so even with Windows XP you will get .NET Framework 2.0 but but with uh, with Windows 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 XP uh, you will not get .NET Framework 4.0 but with Windows 7 or Windows 8 you are getting .NET Framework as well along with the operating system so this exe file will work there so if you want this exe file to work in uh, Linux or Mac uh, directly it will not work so you have to install .NET Framework but .NET Framework is only supported for Windows systems so how do you think you can make that to work for other operating systems so we have uh, we have something called Mono Mono Framework which is which is open source and uh, let me let me show that to you So Mono project is uh, is the .NET framework for .NET framework for other technologies. So if you see here, uh, uh, let me show that to you. So cross-platform open source .NET development framework. So you need to install this in those in in Mac system. Then if you run the exe, that should work. So so if anyone has a Mac system, uh, give it a try. I never tried this. Even I uh, I I used to learn that there is uh, there is a framework called Mono which uh, by installing this you can actually enable your uh, uh, Windows applications exe files in even other other operating systems as well so if anyone has Mac system there give it a try and let me know tomorrow if that works or not so who is having Mac system okay um, I don't yeah Babita you're telling something I, I don't know about the Mono, I have never tried it, but you know, in the map there is like the hardware that you can share it, half part for uh, Windows and half part for uh, Mac. Okay. So there we can use it like that. So oh. there, there we have to install the Mono. Okay, okay. Anyone has a uh, pure Mac system instead of shared uh, OS? Give it a try and then let me drop a mail to me so that uh, uh, just install this and then uh, give it a try and then tell me if you have Mac system okay okay so now let's go to so if someone asks you uh, .NET Framework is a platform independent what is your answer so primarily with uh, you can tell yes because you have different frameworks different uh, uh, because your applications are working in cross-platform so even that is how Java is also uh, you have to install JRE Java runtime so that's okay so now let's go back and just keep in mind if someone asks you just tell that we have mono framework okay just remember this mono framework is open source dotnet framework for 
uh, other f other platforms okay now let's come back to that uh, course content document so that is that is about dotnet framework dotnet framework is uh, primarily targeted for windows applications development uh, which is provided by microsoft uh, primarily intent intended for developing applications like uh, web applications windows applications web services windows services okay these things and uh, what are the types of applications developed using dotnet framework let me let let me tell you a few things so let me open notepad so uh, you might be already knowing we can develop console applications and we can develop windows applications examples for windows applications is uh, you can see here uh, uh, calculator this is one of the classic examples for windows application so windows applications will run only on single system and uh, it will not be accessed by multiple resources at the same time like web application and other examples for windows applications are uh, you can even take for example um, any application which works only on that system like banking applications or applications which only work on that system we can also we'll also call this as desktop applications okay after that we can develop web applications using asp.net which will be accessed through url and we have been seeing uh, seeing lot of web applications um, uh, we'll create empty web application we'll add a few web pages for that and uh, and these are the things which we develop using asp.net or dotnet framework and we'll also develop web services web services are like the methods can be reused across different applications web services and we can also develop class library files class libraries and we can also develop rich internet applications nowadays this is uh, this is very a very hot topic now rich internet applications so so these things we can develop using wpf or or silverlight so initially uh, microsoft thought that silverlight will be a big uh, big boom down the line but since um, html5 came to the existence um, the importance of silverlight a uh, little bit reduced when compared to what microsoft has expected so to my knowledge microsoft even stopped uh, next version of silverlight as well so i'm not sure i i'm not sure on that but uh, it is not as expected it didn't work out as expected because html5 is also coming coming up with lot of inbuilt uh, controls okay so so you can also develop rich internet applications using dotnet framework so these are some of the applications which you can develop um, using dotnet framework so console applications windows applications or desktop applications web applications we also saw web services so web services are like uh, we have normal asmx web services dot asmx web services or uh, we have wcf services and even recently something called you might be hearing the words called restful services or web api okay these are all advanced topics so so these are some of the web services uh, so you if someone asks you what are the applications you can develop you can tell console application windows applications web applications web services uh, class library files or dll files rich internet applications using wpf or silverlite okay now so API is basically which can which is a reusable component so uh, I got a question what is API so if um, if someone if someone tells what is API API is something like application programming interface so it is something like which can be reused which can be reused you can even call a web service as as an example of API because web service can be reused across uh, across different applications okay uh, now why to go for dotnet instead of other technologies anyone wants to add on this this is general topic uh, general question why to go for dotnet instead of other technologies why don't you go for uh, j2e or why don't you go for php why don't you go for any other technologies other than dotnet basically why do you need to select dotnet so uh, we cannot say intellisense uh, this is about dotnet not visual studio so for example um, if someone asks you dotnet dotnet is a technology whereas visual studio is just a ui editor even if you take java j2e you have editor called eclipse you might have heard a tool called eclipse so eclipse is an editor using which you can write the code so dotnet anyone wants to answer here why we should go for dotnet instead of other technologies it has cross-platform technology even J java j2e is also uh, people say it is a 
uh, platform independent then why should we go for dotnet so uh, there are good things about uh, uh, open source technologies because you will get it for free but there are disadvantages also with open source technologies because uh, it has support yes very good answer so uh, mr khan said it has support the reason why most of the companies uh, big companies mnc's go for dotnet is because it has huge uh, huge support from microsoft Imagine if you buy Visual Studio and if your company is implementing anything with uh, anything with .NET technologies, if you face any issues, uh, Microsoft employees or Microsoft resources will will be able to come and help you with any installation issues or anything any support which you need. Even if you buy Windows OS, Windows operating system, imagine if you if if your system got crashed, so it'll ask you, do you want to send this information for Microsoft? or do you need any help even if you buy uh, any operating system they will have customer support number there if you face any issues you can approach them but whereas you don't see those things uh, with open source technologies like uh, uh, like php or or mysql those things uh, any open source uh, open source technologies you will not have much support uh, as as much as you get from microsoft technologies when when dotnet framework has introduced in way back in 1999 or 2000 so almost 95 percent of the servers uh, which are which are there 95 percent of the websites which are there at that time were primarily on uh, java j2e but now if you see almost 55 percent of the servers are will be will be uh, targeting dotnet 45 percent will be um, will be targeting java j2e or other 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 servers so if you see a uh, number of openings in us or number of job opportunities uh, will be primarily in lot of big companies will implement dot net but small startup companies and all maybe cannot afford uh, to buy visual studio or th that is the reason why startup companies will be primarily using java j2e or other open source open source softwares okay so if you take uh, the price of ultimate edition a Visual Studio Ultimate Edition, it is around around two lakhs rupees INR, two lakhs Indian rupees. Ultimate Edition dot Visual Studio Ultimate Edition, so which is a huge amount. Startups cannot afford for it. Uh, but if you if you go for open source software, it is for free. Okay, so that's the reason companies like MNCs, most of the MNCs will will be implementing uh, will be using .dot net. Okay. So it doesn't mean that you cannot use uh, uh, Java JT or other technologies for uh, complex frameworks. You can use it. Uh, you can go you, depending on your requirement. You have to choose uh, in which technology you have to go for. Okay. And then what is .NET Framework Class Library? .NET Framework Class Library is the reusable files, reusable files which comes with .NET Framework. Is the reusable library files which come even uh, sometimes people call this as base class library. So these are the files which comes with .NET Framework. Uh, these are the library files, which which are there inside your version 4.4 folder. So can you tell some of the class library uh, uh, DLLs? Uh, .NET Framework class libraries, uh, class libraries which we have used. So let me open Notepad. So we have system. We have used system system dot uh, syst um, system dot dll like that we have different all these are all these forms your dot uh, net framework library because you are using all these things in your projects system is having console and uh, console is having write line method and yeah very good babita has answered uh, system dot configuration so we use system dot configuration for uh, for getting the values putting the values in web dot config file so configuration and we used uh, something called configuration manager configuration manager dot app settings dot get so this is what we used to get the to read the value from web dot config so like this all these files are called uh, will constitute dot net framework library dot net framework library or dot net base class library or the reusable library files which can be used in your project which are provided by microsoft dot net framework okay those are called as library files or .NET Framework library. Okay, now 
very important uh, topic uh, which you are going to see now is what is CLR and what is CTS, what is MSIL and what is JIT. So we are going to discuss that for some time now. So now every time when you for example w every time when you write a C sharp program and compile that that will create an exe file so so internally some uh, few things happen when you compile that so let me explain that process now so now so assume that you're writing your code in let's assume that you're writing your code in c sharp or you're writing your code in vb or any other technology for example i'm writing your code in c sharp or I'm writing code in VB or any other uh, .NET Framework language. .NET Framework supports a uh, huge number of languages. So .NET Framework, even you can write your own uh, language and uh, um, you can even support it for .NET Framework, .NET Framework languages. But you need to write your own compiler. So every language will have its own compiler. So what that compiler will do is it will check for whether for example C sharp compiler will check whether you are writing correct correct methods for example if you write console dot write line L in small letters the compiler will compile it and, and tell the any errors parse errors so so now what will happen is every compile every language will have its own compiler so now let me so what will happen here so this one compiler will convert this language to MSIL code so this is C sharp compiler so similarly let me open let me copy this similarly you have compilers for other technologies other languages as well so I should I should actually change this to C sharp and this one will be BB so this is VB VB, lang VB compiler and this is your uh, any other technology any other uh, language that is supported by dot framework now so now what happens is uh, when use when compiler converts this the this is called high level language C sharp VB and any other dot net framework language compiler will convert this to MSIL code MSIL code or nowadays people are calling this as CIL common intermediate language so now this will be same for all the compilers so every compiler will convert it say for example let me put this way here so let me put here and let me put here this way okay so now what happens so all the respective compiler will come com convert that language uh, C sharp language or VB or any other language to MSIL code so let me put it here okay so this is called this will be converted to MSIL or CIL so MSIL stands for Microsoft Intermediate Language. Uh, I'm not going to type here, so I'll type here. MSIL stands for Microsoft Now they are calling this as CIL Common Intermediate Language Initially when uh, Dot and Framework started they used to tell this as uh, MSIL code. So what happens is uh, using C sharp or compiler, C sharp compiler will convert your C sharp code to MSIL code. So whatever you are seeing here, this exe, whatever this exe, this exe is as of now, this is MSIL code. The moment I double click on that, your CLR, your common language runtime will convert that to native code and execute the code. So I'm just double clicking on this. So immediately what happens, uh, this already compiled code so this will be converted to native code uh, which your computer understands and uh, that will be executed by CLR's just-in-time compiler okay so here after this MSIL code so what happens is your CLR common language runtime will common language runtime will 
execute will convert this MSIL code to native code or machine code 